It's been almost 30 years since Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park immersed us into the world of dinosaurs. Six movies and endless adventurous and breathtaking hours later, Jurassic World Dominion is now the franchise's sixth part and fans can hardly wait to finally admire it on the big screen. Still, which actors will we see? Are any familiar faces returning? And which new dinosaurs will the stars have to run away from this time? We've dealt with all these questions and summarized everything you need to know about the sixth film in this video. So, sit back and be amazed at all that's in store for you. And if you haven't seen the last two movies, or if you can still recall everything, feel free to skip ahead as now follows a recap of Jurassic World 1 and 2. Jurassic World picks up 22 years after the opening of the first park. A new park has opened in the south of Ila Nublar, a maglev train even allows visitors to ride into the enclosures of, let's say, the more peaceful dinosaurs. Claire Deering, portrayed by Bryce Dallas Howard, is the director of the facility. She's tasked with introducing the newest attraction, the Indominus Rex. He's an artificially created dinosaur whose genes are a combination of many different species. To avoid another disaster, the gamekeeper Owen Grady, embodied by Chris Pratt, is assigned to inspect the safety of the enclosure. Previously, Owen was mainly busy training four velociraptors who accepted him into their pack. Once inside the enclosure, the gamekeeper discovers that the super dinosaur is able to hide from the thermal cameras due to its genetic manipulation. It kills the two technicians accompanying Owen and manages to escape into the open park. After wiping out the entire security team that was supposed to recapture him, the visitors are evacuated. Together with Owen, Claire sets out to find her visiting nephews, leaving the Indominus with a new target. He destroys the Pterosaurus enclosure, causing them to escape into the wild and also crashing the owner's helicopter. While the now free dinosaurs attack the other visitors, the military takes command of the island and orders the Velociraptors to be used against the monster. Claire decides to release the Tyrannosaurus for support and a ferocious battle erupts between the two giants and the raptor's alpha leader Blue. Together, they push him into the water enclosure where the huge Mosasaurus appears and drags the Indominus into the depths. As last seen, the T-Rex is seen facing the abandoned park with a loud roar. In the second part, mankind has to make an important decision. The volcano on Ilanular is about to erupt, which could once again wipe out the dinosaur species. Even though the Senate has decided against saving them, the heroes of part one dare to go on a rescue mission. With the help of Benjamin Lockwood, who was a business partner of John Hammond, they fly to the island to save as many dinosaurs as possible. Once on the island, they manage to locate Blue. However, when they try to contact her, the true intentions of the new companions come to light, as they set at the raptor as well as Owen. The raptor whisperer is left to die and only awakens when the volcano erupts. He and Claire barely escape from the eruption of force to watch as numerous dinosaurs are taken away by the poachers onto his ship. As things turn out, they are taken to the Lockwood's estate to be auctioned off. There, they meet a new super dinosaur, the Indoraptor, whose attacks can be controlled with a laser targeting system. In order to stir up chaos, Claire and Owen free the other dinosaurs. Meanwhile, the Indoraptor is also able to free itself and is now preying on people. While fleeing from the predator, they meet Lockwood's granddaughter Maisie, who turns out to be a clone of his daughter who died young. Blue also succeeds in freeing herself and together with Owen, she takes up the fight against the Indoraptor. In the final battle, the two raptors fall through the roof of the building and the super dinosaur is impaled on the fossil skull of a triceratops. Through a hole in a hydrogen cyanide tank, poisonous gas leaks out which is about to kill all of the trapped dinosaurs. As a result, the heroes decide to release them into the wild. They decided to do this mainly because Macy herself says she's a genetic experiment and is allowed to live on freely. At the last scene, the T-Rex and a lion are seen roaring at each other in a zoo. The biggest team change was probably on the director's chair. Colin Trevorov is coming back. He already directed part one but gave up the chair in favor for the Spaniard J.A. Bayona in Fallen Kingdom. After all, he was never completely gone from the franchise but continued to contribute as a producer and screenwriter. The script is written by Emily Carmichael and Derek Connolly. Carmichael's work is well known from Pacific Rim Uprising while Derek Connolly has already worked on the first two movies. The film has a budget of 165 million US dollars, which is 5 million less than part two. Filming began in February 2020 and had to be interrupted after less than a month due to the ongoing situation. 
By the end of November, they were fortunately able to wrap up, though this was only possible under the strictest conditions of around 40,000 rapid tests and additional costs of $9 million. Due to the longer shooting time, the expected film release has been pushed back to June 10, 2022, exactly four years after Part 2. Of course, we can't promise when to expect the first trailer exactly, but you can probably expect it at the end of this year. Once the trailer drops, you'll be able to find it either on our channel or on our website. A few details about the plot have already leaked out. For instance, the dinosaurs will not rampage as many have speculated. So there will be no dinosaur-human war, but fans can expect a science thriller, according to Trevorov. In addition, the concept of genetically modified super dinosaurs is abandoned and the paleontological path is being taken once again. This is surely also a reason why the 90 stars have been recalled and will have a bigger role to play. The director says the film will focus on ethical and scientific issues and how to reconcile them. Jeff Goldblum recently even hinted that the effects of the ongoing pandemic will find their subject matter in the film. While the Velociraptors and the Tyrannosaurus Rex will certainly get one or two scenes in the movie again, pictures from the set have already surfaced that show the nasty Consognathus from the Lost World. The cute-looking little dinosaurs may seem adorable, but as we know from Jurassic Park 2, they are vicious killers. Moreover, images surfaced on Twitter showing another carnivore, namely the Pyroraptor. Historically, the lizard-hip dinosaur lived in what is now Provence, France. This time, we're more likely to see it in the United States, though. Further details are not yet known and will only be revealed with the release of the first trailer, but it's already clear that with the third part of the story, the saga will come to an end. John Trevorov even goes so far as to say in an interview that if you watch all six Jurassic Park films at once, it'll look like a coherent story. Although there will be more movies in the future, those will then shed light on a new story. In addition to Raptor Crina Owen Grady, the tough Claire Deering will of course also take a leading role. Both are played as expected by Marvel star Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. That said, five other familiar faces from the Jurassic World series will be back as well. The Jittery Systems analyst Franklin Webb will support our heroes in their new adventure like before. Also part of the team is his intelligent colleague Dr. Zia Rodriguez. Both had already played a significant role in the second part to save the dinosaurs from the demise. As before, they are embodied by Justice Smith and Daniela Pineda. For both of them, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom was their first major role in Hollywood. Isabella Sermon will also make another appearance as Maisie Lockwood. It'll certainly be interesting to see what role the clone of the deceased billionaire's daughter will play. In the end, it was mainly her moral will that determined the release of the dinosaurs into the wild. However, the dinosaur experts will also receive support from characters of the 2015 movie. With Barry Zomban, the second raptor trainer from Jurassic World returns to the series. He's personified by French actor Oma Sai. He's a good friend of Owen and will, as one can only assume, join him in the search for the escaped raptor Blue. The final character from Jurassic World to return to the dinosaur adventure is Lowry Crothers. He worked as a safety engineer in the control room of the park until the tragedy happened and ended up being the hero who didn't want to leave his position until the very end. So far, it is unknown what he did after the incident on the island, but this is certainly information which the new film will provide us with. Once again, he will be played by New Girl star Jake Johnson. Fans of the 90s series can rejoice because not only will chaos theorist Dr. Ian Malcolm, who already had a small role in The Fallen Kingdom, be seen again, but the protagonists Dr. Alan Grant and Dr. Ellie Sattler will also be back on the team. For both, it's their first appearance since 2001's Jurassic Park 3, and the renowned paleontologist and paleobotanist are sure to be highly sought after now that dinosaurs are making their way across the United States. In an interview, director Colin Trevorov also said that the roles of the three former stars should not be underestimated, especially if you want to establish a connection between all the movies. So fans can look forward to the trio being given quite a bit of screen time. Ian Malcolm will, of course, be played by Jeff Goldblum once again, along with the two scientists being cast with Sam Neill and Laura Dern. Besides the three main actors of the first trilogy, B.D. Wong is also present as the genetic engineer Dr. Henry Wu, who, like Goldblum, already appeared in the other world movies. Dodgeland will also play a role for the first time since part one. Wait, who's Dodgeland, you ask? 
Well, rightly so, he'll probably be remembered by very few people. It was him who, in the first minutes of Jurassic Park, gave Dennis Nedry the shaving cream can with which to steal the dinosaur embryos from Ilan Nublar. We can only speculate how the character will translate into the new film since he didn't make any further appearances other than in this particular scene. He is the only one who has been recast as well. This time around, Dodgson is being played by Campbell Scott instead of Cameron Thor as he was in 1993. The latter was actually sentenced to six years in prison in 2016 for sexually harassing minors. With The Wonder Wise and Mamadou Athi, the star cast will be further expanded. Unfortunately, nothing about their roles has been announced so far, and the revival of previous stars also raises questions about how big their roles will be. However, prior talks spoke of a leading role, but whether they will be dinosaur friends or enemies remains open. Anyhow, we are excited and we are looking forward to the two newcomers. Dijon Lackman and Scott Hayes are also part of the cast but will probably get a small role, while Lackman is known for TV series, Hayes has starred in Venom and Zeroville in recent years. Well, now you should be up to date with the new Jurassic World, despite the fact that it'll still take a little while until we can admire it in theaters. What are you most looking forward to in the movie? Is there a dinosaur we still don't know about and that you'd like to see on the big screen? Let us know in the comments and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up.